welcome back to Tony Northeastern and uh, hopefully the final part of building the water tower. Now there's been a little bit of a uh, controversially mainly on my part um, about adding a chimney to a water tower and it's been right underneath my nose. There's one here. This is a Scaledale building. As you can see, yep, it's got a chimney. So, along with this and Jason's comment, um, I've decided to add the chimney to the water tower now. So here's how we left off uh, from the last video. As you can see, the walkway um, just needs paint and uh, the water inside the tower that needs a coat of gloss and it's just a case of adding ladders, downpipe and of course the chimney. So meanwhile back at the bench I just thought I'd show you this photograph of the chimney pot which is just about here, there so for those of you who have missed um, all the other videos, this is the photograph of contention, as it were. So there is the chimney pot. So now we're going to concentrate on making the chimney breast. Uh, we're going to use this photograph as a guide for the moment because I've just poured some varnish into the tank. So hopefully when that dries that should give a nice glossy finish if there was water in the tank. So this is the plan of um, what I'm hoping to do with the chimney. So I've taken some basic sizes off of the um, signal box and I've kind of removed um, 8 millimeters from the width of the one on the signal box because this was going to have a single chimney pot on the chimney. So as you can see, the, the 52 millimeters is the actual height of the brick wall here. So this is where the chimney starts to narrow for the 10 millimeter structure here. So, with all this in mind, let's make a start. So now we're going to have a, another look at this drawing before we carry on. As you can see here, we've got 7 millimeters here. And then from this point onwards to the top of the chimney, six millimeters. Now the reason why I've done that is, is so we can back the chimney off the building a little bit, so it doesn't clash with the rim that's going around the tank. Um, if that makes sense. So here is three pieces of card at two mil, so that's giving me the six millimeters width. And here I have drawn out the chimney breast ready for cutting. And here is the backing piece which brings it out to 7mm which will go on the back. So this is going to be unlike any chimney I have made before. Because the brick sheet has to be wrapped around three sides here but four sides around the top. So let's see how I get on. I have now cut out the chimney breast from the card now and uh, to be honest it looks like an oversized cricket bat. Right so the next thing to do is to add the spacer which will bring it off the back of the building by one millimeter. So we'll glue that on which should just come below the angle of the um, chimney there where it uh, just before it narrows so that should just go on there. So we'll let that glue go off. So here's a plan how I'm going to wrap this um, brick sheet around the chimney. Down the centre there, that's our centre line of the chimney. And this is the 18mm mark here and here. So this is the 7mm which is the thickness of the chimney. That's the first fold. So that will come round the chimney, but I'll have to put a cut through there 
and cut this little piece out here. So when that folds around um, on the second fold, we should still have a little lip here where this is one millimeter thicker than this chimney breast here. All this just so we can um, keep it off the tank. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the excess card which is of this piece here. So we shall remove that. The next thing I want to do is at the 52 millimeter line which is here is just cut it and then we can do both fold wraps to see how it's looking before I cut any more card out just in case I've got to leave some of this extra card in so we'll just see so that now should wrap around the lower half of the chimney which it does right so we'll fold it on the 10 millimeter lines now So from that fold onwards, we've just got to measure 10 millimetres. Chop that little bit out of there. Alright, one last try. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to put an infill around the middle. Finished the chimney. I've added um, three pieces of card to hide the original card underneath. So that's that's done. Um, so as you can see, I've also um, glossed the top of the tank to make it look like water. Um, it still looks a bit ripply, as you can see. So it needs another coat of gloss just to hide the ripples. It's probably the card coming through because it's uh, still a bit damp. So the next thing is to add this infill piece there, glue that in and then we can glue the chimney breast to it and as you can see it has come away from the tank by about two millimeters and it doesn't catch the rim of the tank here. So now we move on to the chimney pot and capping stones. All I've done here is cut two pieces of card 12mm by 8mm and 10mm by 6mm and that will give you the perfect capping stone for a 10mm by 6mm uh, chimney breast and also I have made up the chimney pot. Um, you may have seen me doing this before. I've just wrapped 20 mils worth of paper around a toothpick. So what I'll do now is drill a little hole in the centre, pop that down as far as the paper edge there and uh, glue that in. And then you should end up with something like this. Now then, for the delicate job of drilling a hole in the top of the chimney, just using this little hand drill, you notice I've covered up the, the varnish, because it hasn't long been done. All I'm doing is just drilling a little hole, just to take the toothpick. 
using is 1.5 so I'm going down to a depth of at least 12 millimeters one chimney pot I have now tried to blend the chimney breast in with the rest of the building just by weathering it and hiding the card marks and it seems to have worked it seems like it's not just been stuck on <laughs> well it has but it, it kind of looks like it's uh, blended in now Right, so I've painted the sandstone um, using matte 148. So I'm waiting for that to dry and then I can um, dirty that up. So I'm just about to paint the, the chimney pot a uh, uh, clay orangey colour. Um, I've given the water a second coat of varnish and I think the second coat seems to work. It's got rid of all the pits that were in there as it were and uh, it does kind of look like water so I'm quite happy with that I'll leave that the way it is and um, the next thing to do is to stick on the walkway because that's finished now um, that's been painted up and ready to go on So that's the walkway glued on now. I just uh, super glued it on. Um, kind of changes the appearance permanently now, I guess. Um, as you can see, I've just finished painting the chimney pot uh, just by mixing up a little bit of red and yellow together, um, matte and satin paints, just to try and get that. Uh, pottery look. So once that's dried I'll dirty that down and then we can move on to the last two final pieces which is the ladder and the overflow point. So now we move on to the ladder. Um, as you've seen in the photograph the ladder is always lying on the ground so as you can see here it's just lying on the ground so which tells me they didn't use it that much so I'm not going to bother sticking the ladder to the building so when it's on the layout I'll just leave the ladder loosely um, it'd be a shame to to stick it on vertically upright up against the tank and the building like that because it just blocks the view of the window and I don't think it's prototypical. I think they would have only used it for inspection purposes. So what I'll do is I'll weather the ladder, um, add a little bit of uh, grey grime to it and uh, what I will do though is add a little bit of plastic card across the top of it no more than about a millimetre wide and what this will do is it got something to butt up against the top here so we'll just uh, cut a little bit of this plastic card and then cut it down again so I'll just about lay out a thought glue that to the ladder and uh, once that's glued it'll go to the top and it's got a nice little flat edge which will probably just hook over the um, tank there which will give the ladder a little bit of a uh, stability when the guy starts to walk run up the ladder <laughs> not run up the ladder sorry um, 
woke up the ladder or used the ladder something like that anyway so I'm just about to start the downpipe um, and here's one I've made earlier now as you can see it's uh, bent in a weird shape you've got the 90 degree angle at the top which goes into the tank then you've got the 245 degree angles which offsets it to go round the tank and then back onto the wall and as you can see I've got a little spout at the end where I'm presuming it would run out onto the ground um, any excess water of course um, so that's going to go just about there so the next thing I want to do is drill a hole into the tank hopefully the water don't come out everywhere <laughs> right so I've got my one mil drill bit um, this is one millimeters soldering wire you probably guessed that already so I'm just drilling that there Oop. it's a bit later now right so that will then go in there and look at that almost perfect fit so now we have our downpipe glued on. Um, there's one thing I want to show you, if, I, if you can see in there. Um, I don't know if you can see that, just in there, where the pipe has come through. It's just above the water line. And what's the chances of that happening? So as you can see, I've painted the downpipe now in a black satin, and that finishes it off. I think that's all. It's it's all done. Um, there's one or two things I'll do. I'll probably dirty up the tank a little bit, not too much, and weather around the chimney. And uh, once that's done, the next time you see this, it'll be on the layout. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I thought I'd put these two buildings in their final position. And I think that position there kind of matches what's in the photograph. So, as you can see, I've added two mid-calf slabs. That's just to remind me where the doors are. And if you've probably noticed, I've already pencil lined around the buildings as well, which will uh, help me with the ballasting because it, there's going to be a little bit of ballast put down as well um, as you'll see
this one. But we shall go now, we shall let these areas dry. And uh, once they are dry, then we can put the water into place. As you can see, I've already got the uh, lamp hot in this place. So, we shall leave it there for a minute. So what we shall do now, we'll just let these little areas dry and uh, hopefully we'll get the water tower in its place. Here we have the official opening of the water tower with locomotive 67690 taken on water. First loco to do so here at South Shields. Now that we've had the grand opening of the water tower, let's um, have a closer look at it. Um, if I was to build one of these Again, I will probably use different windows um, with a big, bigger pane. Same, same design, but just maybe one or two panes less. But uh, apart from that, um, quite uh, pleased with the way it's turned out. Um, as you can see on the walkway, they have just added a little bit of. Um, white weathering dust so it looks like people have been walking up and down the walkway but uh, I don't think it would have been used that much uh, mainly for inspection I would have thought and uh, adding the chimney just pan you around the back of it there you go I think uh, that was a good idea to, to put that there So yeah, um, the scenery helps set it off. And here's a, another view. This is looking down from the road, from the station, all the way down to the water tower. And uh, yeah, I think um, adding a little bit of scenery there towards the end helps. Um, set the building off as well so that's uh, one area I don't have to touch again it's been an interesting project it's taken a bit longer uh, than I anticipated I mean one of you guys said there was um, over 200 pieces just in the tank alone but uh, I wasn't counting the pieces I was just too busy cutting them and putting them in and gluing them down but yeah would I build another tank? yes I would um, actually I've got my eye on another water tower for the new Hassel engine sheds but uh, that's another project for another day right I think that's all from me this week next week we start on a new building so until then stay safe everybody and uh, happy modeling bye for now bye